Miriam Sandler and her husband Mark aren't cleaning up their kids' playroom. 21 products. 21 products. We're setting up for a segment on QVC. Tap to join me live. Instead of TV, she's going live. Yep. You're all set. One. On Amazon. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I'm so excited to be live with you. I'm Miriam Sandler, and I'm the face behind Mother Could. Think of it like the home shopping network for Gen Z and millennials. Entirely online, hosted by famous creators like Sandler, who have millions of followers across social platforms. Hi from Ohio. Hi from San Diego. Hello from Honduras. Hello, hello. Alejandra, hi. How are you? We know that the vast majority of Gen Z consumers say that they now use social media as their first stop for shopping inspiration because they have built trust and they've grown up uh, feeling authentic relationships with these people online. Amazon, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Shopify, they're all getting in on the game. It's a way to differentiate a product from the millions of others in oversaturated online marketplaces. One of my favorite cleaning products is a spin brush. They want somebody demonstrating it. They really want somebody showing the product, how it works, and showing its efficacy. Um, and it's also entertainment. But the U.S. is lagging way behind China, where 74% of consumers say they bought products through a shoppable live stream in 2022. In the U.S., 78% say they've never even watched one. In China, we're seeing 200 with a B, 200 billion uh, plus in sales. How do we mimic that in the U.S.? And I think we're probably in the low, uh, the mid hundreds of millions. It looks really cute. We go behind the scenes with creators to find out what it's like to sell via live stream and what it'll take for the emerging model to become a mainstream way that U.S. consumers shop. Very cool. So I will do like a little cucumber salad and cut this in half and then bring this out. And I want to give you a little demonstration. Here we go. Impulse purchases driven by compelling live pitches are nothing new. And this is the American egg. I am bringing it out on D-Day. For the last four decades, the Home Shopping Network and QVC have been broadcasting to tens of millions of U.S. households. But as e-commerce thrives, traditional retail has been forced to evolve. In 2017, amid slowing sales, QVC and the Home Shopping Network merged in a $2.1 billion deal. When the pandemic grounded shoppers in 2020, viewership for the shopping networks went back up 10%. But their biggest growth, 100% year over year, happened on their social platforms. It's no surprise the model has moved online, where other platforms are giving it a go too. Live shopping has been sort of the holy grail for social media platforms for a couple of years. You know, Instagram tried it, uh, YouTube has tried it. Um, and then really during COVID in 2020, we started to see it percolate mostly in Asia, um, where there was such a big audience ready for shopping. Another really cool thing about this label maker is that it is completely inkless. It'll never run out of ink because it works with thermal technology. Just like the QVC of old, personalities pitch products live, now from the intimacy of their own homes. Audiences can react with emojis or stars. A chat window lets them ask questions the host can answer live. And links to the featured products make for easy purchasing. Oh my God, $23, you guys. Thank you guys for letting us know. During pandemic lockdowns, these live streams took China by storm. Chinese retail giant Alibaba was first to market there, launching its live stream app Taobao Live in 2016. In 2020, it exploded. In the first 30 minutes of China's 2020 Singles Day Shopping Festival, Taobao live streams generated $7.5 billion in transactions, a 400% jump from the year before. That same year, the live stream shopping market in China was valued at $171 billion, estimated to grow to $423 billion in 2022. People are excited by what you're seeing from China, where you see really, really high conversion rates on some of these experiences, uh, much higher than maybe a regular website would have. You're seeing potentially you know, up to 40% in some cases. You might see much lower return rates because people know what they got. There's a rapidly growing ecosystem of new live streaming apps in China too, like TikTok's sister app Douyin and Pinduoduo, known for rock bottom prices. Live streamers in China, known as Key Opinion Leaders, or KOLs, have made massive fortunes. There's entire boot camps devoted to the career craze of becoming a live stream shopping host. KOLs there have millions and millions and millions of fans. So even if 10% show up, that's still a million. People want to buy products with meaning or product that they can't get anywhere else. And, and that's really what's the, the underpinning of live shopping. In the US, that's very different than in China, which is all about just 
you know, a, a mass population. At 35% of the market, Alibaba's Taobao Live remains the world's biggest live shopping player. But the last few years have seen a flurry of U.S. companies investing in live shopping ventures too. First among them, Amazon. Two pockets, actually. I love it. I'll show you the material a little bit closer up. Amazon introduced live stream shopping in 2016, then launched its creator app in 2020, a tool for making it easier to go live. So the first thing that we're going to start out with is this lovely... I just killed my husband, Rose. Tiana Young Morris was a practicing attorney when she first started live streaming in 2020. The pandemic hit and I was bored in the house. I was on TikTok just like everybody else. And it just kind of took on a life of its own. Videos of her trying on wigs and reviewing them went viral long before she made money doing it. Every other wig that we talk about this evening is baby throw and go. Throw it on like a hat and out the dome. Like that first viral video, I was like, Oh, there are a lot of people that are going to buy the product that I recommended. Yes, honey. How can I make money off of this? And um, Amazon just makes it so easy for you to sign up for the influencer program. Through the Amazon influencer program, creators get their own storefront where Amazon users can follow them. Now, Young Morris sells almost exclusively on Amazon Live. As an attorney in private practice, I was making about 100 grand, like a little over 100 grand, maybe like 110 or so. And now I make about six times that. The biggest moneymaker for Amazon Live creators is commission, which is usually 10% or less of sales from click-throughs on the live stream, although the rare category can be as high as 20%. Amazon also offers some creators a flat fee for going live regularly, and top creators can make extra from brands that pay for dedicated, sponsored live streams, like this one Young Morris did with Dove. This body cleanser? <laughs> Give it all to me. While brands often send live streamers free products, Top creators build viewer trust through honest reviews. The length on them is not super long. I feel like it's important to just tell the truth about <laughs> what it is because if it's short on me and a tall woman buys it, then they're gonna realize it when they get it anyway and they're just gonna return it. I really want it to be my opinions. I want it to be purchased from me. Like I spent my own money on this product so I can tell you it is worth spending your money on this product. I probably decline 75% of the offers that come my way and I could have a lot more money if I accepted those. And I would still have community members, but I would have no trust in me. Celebrities like Kourtney Kardashian Barker and Paris Hilton also hold live streams for the Amazon launch of their own brands. Brands like JBL have also seen major success on Amazon Live, where a carousel of products linked on the left make for frictionless buying. I've got so many amazing Prime Day deals for you guys, and it's actually in collaboration with JBL. Last year during Prime Day, one of JBL's Amazon Lives hit 714,000 views. And JBL's Lauren Severson says 83% of purchases were made by first-time customers. It's our portable waterproof speaker. Uh, so that saw an 80% increase in the two weeks following of sales. And then we saw an increase of 22% of traffic to our any of our JBL pages on Amazon. Wait, the that's mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. <laughs> <laughs> Sandler's career as a creator first took off in 2019 with viral videos like this one that has nearly 80 million views on YouTube, demoing playful recipes and activities she does with her three daughters at her home in Miami. You're an excellent Play-Doh maker. So my husband was an investment banker for 15 years. One day we realized that we were, or I was making double what he was making and he was making a really good living. So I was like, let's take a leap of faith, leave. And he left. It's probably grown four times since, and it's just crazy. Sandler's mother could brand makes the most on Amazon, but she has more followers on Instagram at 1.2 million, and TikTok with 730,000 followers and 11.7 .7 billion views. I don't profit off any other platform that you can go live. Everyone coming to Amazon Live is essentially coming to buy something. They're there for that. I feel like if you are live on Instagram, live on TikTok, live on Facebook, they're there to like see what's going on. Amazon Live is the most complete end-to-end -end platform. We could say it's in the BYOA category, bring your own audience. So they have to come and drive traffic there, which is a little difficult, more difficult than showing up and just turning it on. While Amazon is all about frictionless sales and high conversion, social media live shopping is more about growing followers and going viral. Products go viral all the time. 
on TikTok. And, you know, Scrub Daddy is a great example. Dyson Airwrap is another example. That's what differentiates the social platforms from Amazon. Amazon, you go there to find something you heard about or you're looking for. In 2020, Instagram and TikTok became the first U.S. social platforms to launch live shopping capabilities. ByteDance-owned TikTok partnered with Walmart for an hour-long live where TikTok users could buy Walmart fashion items featured by creators. The duo did another live stream in 2021 after reporting the first event netted seven times more views than expected and grew Walmart's TikTok following by 25%. I think TikTok is going to be able to leapfrog everyone else is because they have so many users now. Um, They have a billion active monthly users, and every time you use the platform, it's learning your behavior, learning your interests, and serving you what it thinks you like. But right now in the U.S., shoppers on TikTok have to navigate away from the app to make a purchase, eliminating a big potential revenue stream. So in the fall, TikTok started U.S. testing of a new function called TikTok Shop. It allows users to buy directly in the app. And although it's invitation only for creators and merchants in the U.S. right now, it has already launched in Southeast Asia and the U.K. Now Shopify and YouTube have teamed up on live shopping efforts, too. Announced in July, the partnership expands live shopping capabilities so viewers can click and buy without leaving YouTube. It's not just like, here's yet another thing that's distracting our youth with video selling, but actually, here is a new way that business is evolving and adapting to how the world is going to look in the future. Business owners like Cassie Ho can go live on YouTube and elsewhere to promote their own products. Ho first went viral with this Pilates workout video under her screen name Blogilates 13 years ago. Viewers asked her to sell merch featuring her screen name. And I was like, what? You want stuff with my screen name on it? And so I was like, okay. So then I remember buying like these shirts from Forever 21 and like screen printing Blogilates on it and put it up on Facebook. And then it sold out within minutes. Shortly after, Ho launched an activewear brand called Popflex and started posting design process TikToks that get millions of views. 37 weeks ago, I attempted to make the perfect legging. She tries on Popflex clothes live on Instagram, which she says leads to far more sales than TikTok. Right now, across all my social platforms, we have about 15 million followers and subscribers everywhere. And um, on YouTube, over 2 billion views. And then in terms of sales, Popflex on it on its own is an eight-figure business, and then Blogilates on its own is an eight-figure business. Ho said she had her best sales hour of the year before Black Friday during an hour-long YouTube live shopping event. Sweatpants, they are happening tonight. It is happening. You need to go get them because I don't think they'll be lasting long. There's also a handful of startups developing new U.S. platforms devoted entirely to live shopping. There's Network that focuses on sneakers and collectibles, Supergreat and Trendio for beauty products. And the biggest among them is Talk Shop Live. Talk Shop Live. Talk Shop Live, Talk Shop Live. Where Walmart held 150 live shopping events in 2022, and celebrities like Dolly Parton, Tim Tebow, and Jamie Foxx have gone live. And TikTok is reportedly in negotiations with Talk Shop Live about outsourcing its live shopping efforts to the US-based startup. TikTok currently faces bans in several states due to concerns it could hand user data over to China. I have a feeling that before it gets banned, it'll probably sell or do other things to placate, um, you know, uh, authorities. But I don't think that it's going away anytime soon. Um, And it really is the backbone of pop culture right now because it is the chosen platform of Gen Z. Despite trending hashtags like TikTok made me buy it, one survey found U.S. shoppers are hesitant to pay for products directly on social sites. In turn, retailers miss out on the click-through and conversion data that's owned by the social sites. It's a big barrier to success for the business model, and one that's not an issue for Amazon Live or Alibaba's Taobao Live in China. As e-commerce platforms and not social networks, they keep buyers on site all the way through the sale. Amazon continues to grow its live stream efforts, launching Amazon Live in India last September. Meta, on the other hand, is scaling back its focus on shopping. It halted live shopping on Facebook in October and removed the shop tab from Instagram's navigation bar this month. So we're bringing create down to the bottom, front and center, and we're removing the shops tab. And in China, the government is enforcing greater supervision over private industries, including live stream shopping. Some of its biggest live shopping superstars have been hit with massive fines or taken sudden unannounced breaks. Okay, so yeah, this is the tablet and this is the case. 
In the U.S., it remains to be seen whether live stream shopping is just a fad that took off while consumers were stuck at home during the pandemic, or if Amazon Live and social platforms have created a big enough draw for it to stick around for good. One thing I've learned about uh, merchants, they're incredibly resilient entrepreneurs, and when they find something that works, it spreads. So yeah, let's hope that this is the year that we see that real explosion in live selling. Thank you so much. Have a great day.